Welcome to part two of my OCHEM prep series. In part one, we talked about bond line notation, but how do we assign formal charges? Remember, formal charges tell us if an atom has more or less electrons than it normally wants. More electrons means it'll have a negative charge, and less electrons means there will be a positive charge. You've probably seen a different formal charge equation in class, but to make it easier, we'll have valence electrons minus dots plus lines. Dots are your lone pair electrons and the lines are your bonds. And in this first example, we count six total dots and lines. So six minus six is zero, meaning our oxygen will be neutral. In this one, we count seven dots and lines around oxygen. So six minus seven is equal to negative one, which means oxygen will have a negative charge. And then in our last one, we count five dots and lines around our oxygen. So six minus five is equal to one, meaning our oxygen will have a positive charge. As you dive deeper into OCHEM, you'll start to notice a trend between the number of bonds around an atom and the charge that it'll have. For example, when oxygen has two bonds, it is neutral. When it has one bond, it has a negative charge. And when there's three bonds, it'll have a positive charge. If you want more tips to help you prep for OCHEM this summer, follow for more.